Yo, so what is up everybody on YouTube? We are back today with a brand new video. And we all know March Madness unfortunately got canceled this year, but it's not going to stop me from making this video. As you can see right here, we have a wheel with every college that has three or more NBA players playing currently. And then we have another wheel that gives us either a choice of player or a random player. And I'm kind of giving you guys the first one here as an example. So we got USC and we got a random player. So right there, as you can see, we have all these players to choose from. And we take that total amount and throw it in the random number generator right here to get who's actually going to be the one that's added to our team. So it is going to be number eight. And as we know, when we go back, number eight was the only Nikola Vucevic. And Nikola Vucevic, obviously is a very, very good player for the Magic. So we are more than happy to start this rebuild with him. And if you guys have yet to do so, definitely be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more content like this as always. And the sim will be coming Saturday like always. So let me know how you guys like this video down in the comments below. So our second college we're working with is UConn. And hopefully we get to choose our own player because as we all know, Kemba Walker was an absolute beast in his time at UConn. And as you can see, we do get to choose our own player for this. So we are starting off this rebuild very, very strong with two really good guys in both Nikola Vucevic and Kemba Walker. So I'm very excited to see what happens. As we know, we could get guys as low as maybe like a 60, 67, 68 overall in this. So getting two guys like that right off the bat is crazy. So let's see, third player that we are going to be getting is out of Purdue. Now, when I think of Purdue, the first person that comes to my head is honestly Carson Edwards from last year. But let's see what we got real quick. And it is going to be a random Purdue player. So there's only three. Either Carson Edwards, Etwan Moore, or Caleb Swanigan. So hopefully we get Carson Edwards, honestly, because that is my guy. So one through three. And we do get number one. So we are going to be bringing Carson Edwards to the Philadelphia 76ers. Welcome to the squad. And honestly, during pre-draft workouts... I thought we were going to take a flyer on Carson Edwards later in the draft, honestly, but we did not end up doing that, which was kind of wild. Fourth player, here we go. Let's see who this fourth college that we get real quick is. And the fourth college is looking like Marquette. Oh, last second change to Colorado. So Colorado, I'm trying to think of who was nice from Colorado as we do get a random player. And honestly, they have some solid options there in Spencer Dinwiddie and Derek White, so I wouldn't be mad with either. And we get number four, who is actually Derek White, so we will be taking that. That's a solid backup guard to have on the squad. So welcome to the team, Derek White. This team's not looking bad so far. I definitely cannot complain about it, as we already got three players above an 80 overall. So for the fifth player, let's see what college we are going to be working with. And, uh... Hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully we get something nice here. Maybe get like Kentucky and maybe get Joel Embiid or, you know, LSU and get Ben Simmons or something like that. That would be pretty cool. Bring them back to Philly for this rebuild. And for the fifth college, we are getting ourselves. Is that Purdue again? No. Last second, it did stay on Gonzaga, which is nice because we did not want to get Purdue again at this point. Um... So let's see, we are getting a random Gonzaga player. Who's we got to work with? So, I mean, I really wouldn't be mad getting Brandon Clark, Rui Hashimura, or even getting DeMontis Sabonis. And um, let's see what we do. Let's see how many. We got to put the correct number into the random number generator real quick. And we get the third on the list, which is actually Rui Hashimura, who's obviously a promising rookie on the Wizards. So we will take that as he should have pretty good trade value for us going forward. Next up, let's see what the next college we get is. Hopefully, like I said, hopefully we can get one of those like big name schools. I'll take Duke. I'll take Kentucky. I'll take Kansas. Like, give me something big. And what are we getting right here? It's looking like Marquette, maybe? Okay, we get Marquette. As we know, if we get to choose our own player, this will be huge because they do have Jimmy Buckets. And let's go. We get to choose our own player. Here's what we're working with. And obviously, out of these guys... We for sure are taking Jimmy Buckets. Welcome back to Philly. Even though you didn't really like it here, we will take you back with an open heart. Next up, let's see what the next college that we get is real quick. Definitely excited about this. And we already got Kemba. We already got Vucevic. We already got Jimmy Butler. And next up, as far as these colleges go, let's get a big name college. Come on. Ooh. I thought we were going to get Kansas. We just missed UCLA. And we actually get... 
we need to get North Carolina. So we get a we get a pretty big college. We will take that. North Carolina obviously being a huge basketball school. And we are getting a random player out of this list. That is a big list of players, honestly. Even though this team doesn't really need them, Kobe White would be cool. But we get the fourth out of the 14, which actually ends up being Vince Carter. And as we know, Vince Carter has been getting buckets in the league forever. So I just want to make sure he, he's still in the Hawks and everything. I wasn't really sure. So 72 overall, Vince Carter will be sliding on over to the team. Um, as I mean, as far as as far as this goes, he does not hold too much trade value, so it's not the greatest pickup for us for the for this uh, rebuild. But we will take it as we move on to the next college, and the next college that we get is looking like it's gonna be maybe Maryland. Yep, Maryland. Okay. When I think of Maryland, I just think of Bruno Fernando. So we'll see. As and Kevin Herter, right? So Kevin Herter and Bruno Fernando. Um. I mean, I would take I would take Kevin Herter. That would be cool. And w looks like we got Bruno Fernando. That's kind of tough. Definitely would have rather had ourselves Kevin Herter. His trade value is definitely a little bit higher than a guy like Bruno Fernando. Um, so let's go grab him from the Hawks real quick. As he's a 75 overall, could be a lot worse, I guess. And uh, we're moving on to the next school. So for the next school, we are going to get ourselves who? Team's not shaping up too bad, as it's looking like it's going to be Miami. Okay, Miami. The only person that comes to my mind when I think of Miami is Lonnie Walker, and we do choose the player, so we're going to be able to look through this list, and there's only three players in total, and honestly, to me, that looks like an easy choice. Lonnie Walker, welcome to the squad. At least you probably have some trade value being so young. Okay, so what are we going to get next? I want to get one of those big, big name schools. Give me Duke. Give me Kentucky. Give me Kansas. Give me something, man. And we are going to be getting Gonzaga once again. And uh, I'm assuming this is probably going to be a random player since we did just get to choose. Almost was a choose, but we are getting a random player from Gonzaga. And uh, we got six options here, and we are getting the fourth down which is indeed Damantis Sabonis. So we will take that Damantis Sabonis, obviously a very good big man in the league. And we already have Vucevic, so I don't know if we really need him. Maybe he could run that four or whatever. But uh, we're going to let it play out with these players in the first season to see how well they would have done together. And then in the second season, I'm going to make my tweaks and see if we could definitely get ourselves a chip if we couldn't in the first season. So now with this college, we are getting Nevada. Okay, so Nevada. I'm trying to think of who pops into my head when I think of Nevada College. I'm not really sure. Um, that's because there's no one too flashy there. That's definitely why. As we end up getting ourselves Caleb Martin. Although I much rather would have had even JaVale McGee. But they really didn't have anyone too special. So we will have to take that. As welcome to the squad, Caleb Martin. Cody Martin's brother who is what? A 69 overall? Okay. Not the greatest one right there, but hey, the wheel does how the wheel does, so we will see if we if they can bless us up. So let's see what this next college that we get real quick is, and oh, it's a big name college. Let's go, baby. We got Kansas. We got Kansas. And are we going to be able to choose the player? We are not. We are going to be doing a random player from Kansas. Obviously, some very good options from Kansas. As you guys got a guy like Joel Embiid. You got Andrew Wiggins, who would be really nice. You got some other cats right there that really would help out the squad a ton. And we're getting number 11, and number 11 is indeed Andrew Wiggins, who's having a pretty good season so far. So welcome to the squad, Andrew Wiggins. That will definitely help us out on the wing. Um, definitely interested to see if we get any like more kind of stars on this team, or if it's uh, as top-heavy as it is already for the rest of the wheel. Um... We, maybe UCLA? Ooh, Arizona. It stays on Arizona. When I think of Arizona, I think of TJ McConnell. So we'll see what happens here. As I do choose the player from Arizona. And let's look at this list real quick. A few guys are popping out. Some solid names on there. But obviously for me, I think that as far as for rebuild purposes go, I want to get that young guy that is really good. So we're going to go ahead and bring DeAndre Ayton onto the squad. Welcome to Philly, DeAndre Ayton. So that's a really good pickup yet again. We have a pretty good stockpile of big men between Sabonis, uh, Vucevic, and DeAndre Ayton now. 
And let's see what we get next real quick. Maybe UCLA. Oh, we're just missing UCLA. Back to UNC, which obviously has a lot of names, but nobody too, too flashy. Um, we are getting a random UNC player. And we already have one in Vince Carter, so we are going to have to kind of um, cut down the number by one. I would be happy with Kobe White, and I definitely would be happy with Danny Green. Wouldn't really complain about Harrison Barnes. As we get the third overall one, which is Reggie Bullock. Definitely not what we were hoping for, but welcome to the squad, Reggie Bullock. As uh, kind of forget what team he's on. I guess he's on the Knicks. Let's go. <laughs> So, Reggie Bullock, 72 overall, welcome to the squad. As we're getting towards the end of this wheel, we're, we're filling up the roster. We probably have, only have, what, like one or two spots left. Um, all right, so here we go. Here is our final team. Jimmy Butler, Kemba Walker, DeMontis Sabonis, uh, DeAndre Ayton, Nikola Vucevic, Andrew Wiggins, Derek White, Roy Hashimura, and uh, that's pretty much the gist of it. This is what the rotations will be looking like. And like I said, I want to let it kind of ride year one and see um, just how good this team potentially could do without me making any moves. And then in year two, I think that's time for me to try and uh, make this team win a chip. So in year one, Luka Doncic gets MVP with the Dallas Mavericks. No real surprise there, I would say, as it's you, when you think of MVPs in the years coming, you usually think of him and Giannis as two of the biggest names. We finished the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference, which is definitely solid. We had 50 wins, which uh, we will take for sure, for sure. And uh, looking at the player stats, I kind of want to see how everybody worked together. We had a 20-point scorer right there in Kemba Walker, getting it done for sure. And then our second highest scorer had 16.9 with Jimmy Butler. And then... Um, Kind of the centers are all sharing the load, I think. And from there on, everyone was just playing their part. Our first round matchup is up against the Milwaukee Bucks, who do have Giannis, obviously, still. And they honestly have most of their team still. I don't think we made any trades with the Bucks. So uh, we'll see how this turns out. We get up on them 2-1. to 3-1, to one, and it's looking good. But you can never count out Giannis, as if he pushes it to Game 7, I don't like this. And we do actually clutch it out, thankfully, in a seven-game series. Giannis dropping 30 and 14 could still not get it done for him. As we are playing the stacked Celtic squad, that did get traded some of our players, unfortunately. And they have Ben Simmons running point now. And they are absolutely killing us as we get eliminated 4-2-0 by this team. Tatum and Simmons together is definitely a scary sight. And not to my surprise, they make the finals and actually end up sweeping the Warriors, which is, this, that team is going to be a bomb squad, but in this upcoming season, we are going to have the opportunity to make our moves and change the team how we want and kind of get some more value in and out of here. I'm only going to be using Trade Finder, so the trades are things that the computer would be willing to do in the first place, and this is what they'd be willing to do for Giannis, DeAndre Ayton, and Jimmy Butler. Now, I get that Giannis is amazing and all, but I don't want to bring in Giannis because I feel like that's a little bit too cheesy of a move. I would probably rather bring in a guy like Kawhi for the same thing. Um, I don't want to, because I feel like Giannis is almost an automatic chip, and I want to make it a little bit more um, difficult to construct a team around. Um, looking around, definitely some guys that pop into my mind that I would like to try and add to the squad for sure, and that's the same trade package that would be able to get LeBron. Uh, Joel Embiid's maybe a guy I would like to bring back if we can get kind of the right trade package together I don't know if I want to do Aiden straight up because Aiden's gonna be key in bringing in one of those bigger names like Kawhi or LeBron or KD or whoever we want to bring in um, Let's see who else Pascal Siakam's maybe a guy that I might think about here. Maybe Dame um, Definitely a lot of interesting names here gotta really choose like one star that we want to bring in and for me personally i think that's probably Kawhi. i think if i'm just choosing any Kawhi, like any big star that i want on this team right now for whatever reason i'm feeling Kawhi. so we're gonna put Kawhi in at that small forward position and like i said of course these are all trade finder trades so it's not like i'm just forcing a trade that they wouldn't be interested in in the first place because the computer obviously would do it so let's see what else do we got here um 
Who else are we trying to bring in? Obviously, Luka would be crazy if we brought him in. And the only trade packages for Joel Embiid involve Kawhi, so we are not going to be targeting him, obviously. Luka as well, only Kawhi in them. Who else could we bring in? Maybe that doesn't involve Kawhi. That could also be, you know, vital in us winning a chip. How about Zion? What would it take to bring Zion here? And yet again, they would want Kawhi. D Rose. All right, let's see about Pascal. Let's see if we can get him at kind of a discounted rate. See, I feel like we could probably get him for something less. So they want Sabonis and Roy Hashimura, or they want um, DeMontis Sabonis and some other options. How about Devin Booker? Devin Booker would be a good guy to bring in playing that too for us. At an 89 overall, I think we sh I think we could probably swindle away to bring D Book in with the computer. Wow, I would easily do these. I would easily do these. Wow, Lonnie Walker and Rui Hashimura, or Rui Hashimura and Derek White. Let's make that happen. As now we have a f elite two guard and small forward in Devin Booker and Kawhi Leonard, and we still have some other guys to work with to kind of try and bring in some names. Um, now I would say that we definitely want to solidify ourselves with a point guard and a really good big man. I think those are the big things that we need here. And let's see if Joel, I really would like to get Joel Embiid, but I don't want to give up Kawhi for him. Um, honestly, if we had to roll with the squad, it would probably have a good chance at winning a chip regardless, but there's still probably a few more moves I would personally like to make to this team before trying to compete for a championship. And, um... This is what they would want for Giannis yet again, just so you can see. Um, as far as point guards go, maybe we could bring back Ben Simmons. What would it take to bring back Ben? Uh, Kawhi, okay, no surprise there. Um, yeah, I would say this that point guard and center are our biggest issues right now that we would have to bring in. Um, who else is out there that maybe we could do something for? I really think Pascal's a guy that they might... Give us a better trade package for maybe something that works for them a little bit better. All right, so here we go. Let's just check out the Pascal trade and see if they don't. If we could do this without having to get up, give up one of those two between Devin Booker and Kawhi Leonard. So they are saying these trades, which I would definitely do one of these, Kemba and Demontis Sabonis, and we would get Kyle Lowry back in exchange, which is definitely a good trade. So let's see. Um, we'll give them a first. And they do accept it, so let's see. We will take this, of course. So we would have Kyle Lowry, Devin Booker, Kawhi Leonard, Pascal Siakam. This team would be insane. This team would be absolutely insane. We, like, if I could upgrade Vucevic to maybe a different center and maybe ship out like Andrew Wiggins with him to get a better center, that would be amazing. I'm not going to lie. And how about Andrew Wiggins and Vucevic for? Maybe Joel Embiid. Okay, so I don't want to force that through myself. So let's see if I can go through Trade Finder maybe and get it to go through. So I decided to go in Trade Finder and click Nikola Vucevic and see what popped up. And I was definitely interested in that Vucevic and Andrew Wiggins for Jokic. But then I kept scrolling and this was actually there. Derek White and Vucevic for Joel Embiid. So... If this team can't win a championship, then I don't know what can. Look at this squad. The bench maybe is a little bit hurt, but we still have Kemba and Andrew Wiggins off the bench. So look at this team, man. Kyle Lowry, Devin Booker, Kawhi Leonard, Pascal Siakam, Joel Embiid, Kemba Walker. This is looking like an all-star team, honestly, more than just a normal regular season NBA team. And in this year, Jan Satatokounmpo goes ahead and gets MVP with the Milwaukee Bucks. Like I've said before, no real surprise there. Um, our guys are not really too much on the All-NBA team since they're all kind of sharing the load. Um, looking at the standings, we better be one of the... We're the third seed? Whoa, that Celtics team won 70 games. Ben Simmons, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Tobias Harris. Dude, that's insane. And then that Bucks team actually ended up getting the same amount of wins as us. That is, This playoffs is going to be a dog series. I can tell you that much. 24.7 points per game for Devin Booker. 24.5 per game for Kawhi. 21.8 and 14.5 for Joel Embiid. 19.7 for Pascal. This is going to be insane. This is what our rotations are looking like for the playoffs. 
And obviously our last couple bench spots are maybe hurting a little bit with Michael Beasley, Bruno Fernando, and Torrey Craig. But I really do think that this team has enough star power to where we should be. We're at least getting to the Eastern Conference Finals where we have to verse that Celtics team. With how crazy they've been, it might be tough beyond that. But we're going to have to see what happens right here. As we start off our first series against the Miami Heat, who obviously don't have Jimmy Butler, we're up 3-1. to one, And we knock them out 4-1 to one to move on to the second round, where we're unfortunately going to have to meet that Bucks team with Kawhi. I mean, not Kawhi. <laughs> Giannis Antetokounmpo. And they still have Crazy Chris as well. So it's going to be a tough fall series. I can tell you that much right now. As it's 1-1, one, 2-1. One, it's going to Game 7. That's that's the moral of this. It went to Game 7, and we're going to hop in with SimCast and see what happens. So here we go. Extremely close game throughout the first half. It is, it's, it's definitely a spooky game for sure. We get a little bit of a lead, but they're starting to cling back. We're up 8. We're up 8. Oh my gosh. We just, we just blew an eight-point lead, and they just got the lead with two minutes left in, in the fourth. This is crazy. It's just going back and forth, and it is we are down by two with 46 seconds left in the fourth quarter. I'm not going to play this. I'm just going to let it play out and kind of show everybody what's happening because this is insane. Kemba Walker bricks a three. That is not a good look at all. Only 30 seconds just about left in this, and we are down by two points. So we need to D up right now and get a stop. They leave Brooke Lopez open for a three. He clings it off the glass, and here we go. Devin Booker with a weird little spin move, and he actually makes it, tying it up at 141 with about 20 seconds left in the game. The Sixers, the shot clock's unplugged. The Sixers really need to clamp up right here. Crazy Chris, top of the key, getting clamped up by Kawhi. George, oh my gosh, George Hill, pull-up jumper, misses it. It is going into overtime in Game 7 of this second round matchup. So this is crazy, as this is only a couple point game. Back and forth, back and forth. We are up by two points with 12 seconds left in this overtime. And thankfully, we have the ball. As long as something crazy does not happen, we should win this game. They are going to fail Kemba Walker. And he does hit his free throw, so we are up four. They only have seconds left. Crazy Chris throws up a prayer and cannot get it to go. As it is looking like we are going to be moving on to the Eastern Conference Finals. So our Easter Conference Finals game is not going to be an easy series up against this absolute bomb squad that I accidentally made for the Celtics when doing the wheel. And uh, we're going to see what happens here as they get up early. 2-1, 3-1, and wow. This team just got defeated 4-1. Ben Simmons dropping 37 points. That is, that is, that is terrible. I'll tell you that much. Um, I guess it just shows how crazy 2K can be sometimes. I pretty much had an all-star lineup just get knocked out in five i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry i could not successfully successfully win us a chip but uh i hope you guys enjoyed this a sim will be coming saturday i hope you have a fantastic